first I need to make this installation of the, uh, the, oops, that might have not been a good idea. There we are. Of the, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry I'm not a stoner, but don't really get it. So where did I put this? I know where I put this. Document horrors and if well, it should be right here. It should be right here. Uh, should be this one. <coughs> here it is. I, th I thought, but apparently not. Where did I put that thing? demo. I am not seeing any uh, no documents. Documents and then horrors. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Fuck. No. This is what I want. There we go. This. Oh dear. So this might be kind of problematic. Uh, assuming that this isn't what the image is supposed to look like. With what, all the flickering. Which you can wit can and will witness now. This is there's a lot of flickering, but don't even know what oh god. I don't know what any of the buttons are, that's that's a great start. Because I just downloaded this thing. Yes, this is Mega Man for the Atari 2600. I should probably should have checked the controls before I started this. Pressing... oh, there we are. Tab brings up this thing, so input settings. <laughs> Didn't Atari have like one button? <laughs> player zero... I'm guessing it's player zero. So what? Uh, space, left control, four, five? Uh, okay. Oh, God. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I press down to fire? That makes sense. Oh god. Oh dear lord. Oh, we somehow managed to get there. <coughs> oh shoot. Oh shoot. No. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get very far in this. Even when the things are stunned, they still do damage. And I died. Yeah, you know what? I don't. I don't think I have the aptitude necessary for this. So, so I don't know how to exit out of this because I've never used it before. There we go. Oh God! The words of truth. Hopefully, we'll get to that eventually, but. But that was something else that I don't know how to play. So we have a few options left. Going through the uh, weird sort of game folder I have. <coughs> I have this... Uh, another kind of not completely suckish RPG Maker game. I have a bunch of really weird and shitty game maker games. I have something called Mondo Agency. Which is kind of like another trippy game. 
I thought the game worked, but... Uh, no, I, I got it to work, but I didn't do very well at it. Because I didn't know what the controls were. So I, f I think to quell the... The anger of... Oh god. What is that noise? Oh, I got the other part. To quell the um, anxiety of... The fans of the groggy game. We're gonna play this other thing. Which is kind of trippy. In its own right. This is Mondo Agency. So we got a mail. Apparently we are a secret agent. And... There's a mission pending. An urgent message. We don't know if anyone wants to kill the president. So we're doing this because someone wants to kill the president. If the world dies, the president will die too. At least one of many person wants to kill the president. So it's time to start our mission, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, kill switch. Well, I guess what I can say about my accent is... That's a mirror. What I can say about my accent is that I... I'm not entirely certain how to define it since I don't live in... Yeah, that's where I live. I don't live in an English-speaking country. Uh, but I did learn English since a very young age, and I've always had a preference for... the sort of British pronunciation over any, f uh, any other pronunciation. Because I think it sounded kind of spiffy, and since, you know, I don't get to speak a lot of English with other people here. When I do speak it, such as when I do streams like this, I just try to stick to that sort of English uh, vibe with my voice. So our objective here is to leave this giant room and make it into the light. Color instead of color. Oh, I am from Mexico. Technically, I was born in El Salvador, but, uh, you know, I grew up in Mexico. And now we get to this special <laughs> message. Everyone wonders where the top is. <laughs> It's right beneath my foot. Yep, El Salvador is where I come from. So this is our first sub-mission. Instead of Mondo Medicals, which had uh, disorientations, we have submissions now. Oh boy. So our objective is to talk jump on these invisible pillars, I think. Oh, shoot. And figure out a way to reach the top of this thing. I think it's helped by the fact that the next pillar we have to go to is highlighted in white, I think. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, we fell. That wasn't so good. Salazar who? Like Ramon Salazar, the guy from Resident Evil. I'm not sure why else I would be asked to say that. So making it to the top of this structure is fairly tricky, but we're getting there. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're almost to the top, almost to the top. Only one more to go if this guy would jump, please. I think we did it. Yes, we did it. 
Now all the pillars have gone down. You can press F1 to cheat, but we did not. So, uh... Okay. So let's go to the next stage. I'm sure the same could be said of Zero. But he's not busy talking. <laughs> I think you might need to watch out with the statements you'll make. And apparently that's a cue for King to flee in terror. So what are we up to this time? There's an emergen emergency power in use. Exit point disabled. And that guy is over there. Certainly looks like an interesting fellow, doesn't he? So apparently we need to reach that switch there to restore the power. But how shall we do so if there's nothing but nothingness all around us? This is how, apparently. We find paths that only appear when we're close to them. But I don't like the looks of that guy. Oh, but there's multi- Oh god, he's approaching us, so we run away. Hopefully not to a dead end. Hopefully not. Okay, we seem to be getting closer to... To this this thing, but not as close as we would want to. We need to actually reach it. So we do. There we have it. And now we just jump up. We should be able to reach that. And we make... Oh, apparently. And all the paths are permanently visible now. So now we just make our way back towards the center there. I think we might be able to jump to that from here, and I was right. So let's leave this place. See, I still don't quite follow what this guy's talking about, but at least it's, it's easier to know what he's saying than is with the uh, the elephant men in that rainbow world. So we've got this, and there seems to be something up there we can barely see. So what does this guy have to say about all this? We are indeed agent. <laughs> I sure would like to know what Gluck is streaming though. If it's anything like the Noah's Ark stream. I think I would like to watch that. But, uh, we have this thing now. This has turned into Doom 3. Even though I don't have a 3DO, I'm sure I could secure the means to get one. Okay. Oh, did we... Hmm. Okay, that thing lights up when we shoot it. As does this one. And this one. And that one. Did that do it? I think that might have done it. I don't know. Oh yes it did. Oh boy. 
Just good luck to you in Spanish. God damn it, Stein. So what's the native? Almost zero. Not quite. So in this game, what's going on is that the shields are out and the natives are approaching. Apparently those flashing red laser guys are the natives. And here comes one right now, but we did. luckily we have this gun, so we can shatter it into a million pieces. Hostile activity detected. There's only one guy who will talk to us here. The natives... The machine must be powered off. I bet they can see us. So there comes a guy, and he's dead, but here come more guys. They come from all directions, and they are approaching very quickly. Can we take all of them? I think we might. If I can get this guy, that is. Oh shoot, here come more. Oh, they got us. Didn't even see whichever one came at us coming. Luckily there's one way to do this easily. As soon as these guys start speaking, just come over here and jump on top of this thing. And now the natives cannot reach us. Oh boy. I sure hope Sun Kun never come back to my stream and says that. Or a certain mod will be mighty pissed off. So now that we're up here, it's way easier to do this without getting killed. Because these fuckers come from all directions. There's not even a warning when one of, one of them is approaching. They just come and see there's two at our feet that we never saw coming. So we just shoot them and we shoot them, I said. There we go, he's dead. And that opens up the exit. get what's coming to them though. Uh oh. I think I might have done something I wasn't quite meaning to. I think I just might have. Oh shoot. Oh there we go. Dodge a bullet there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to this, I think. Oh, here comes Gears. Uh, we still have our gun, luckily. And there's this giant structure in the middle of the room. I wonder what that's all about. Oh my goodness. Stream Cold War going on. Well, let me tell you, I, I sure hope they're recording those streams, because I can't wait to read the chat in those streams. Can't wait to have a good laugh with that. Uh, hope it doesn't get ugly, though, because... Not terribly long ago. Oh, shoot. I think I might have killed myself there. Yeah. Not too long ago, I... 
was in a Skype group that had quite a bit of drama in it and that was kind of uncomfortable because a lot of people left and it was not very nice to be there where it was happening. So I hope it doesn't come to that, but you know, sometimes you do have to... It's better to know about the bad weeds than not. Which must be why David doesn't hang around anymore. There are some things that, you know, just aren't willing to change for the better. Eh, that doesn't sound malicious. Chairman is, like, this thing that, like... Yeah, Chairman is gay. He has said that several times on uh, Mike's stream, and he sort of makes this act out of acting flamboyant, so... You know, whenever I say something like that, I really wouldn't take it too seriously. Just for the sake of your blood pressure, at least. And I can't seem to be able to get very far in this, unfortunately. Or maybe I'm supposed to go over there. Yeah. Hadn't seen that, that uh, platform. Which is, yeah, lower than the other one. Think. So there's that one, and there's that one, and this one over here is lower. So I'm going to aim for this one this time. Made it. Okay. Now we go that way, I presume. Oh. Yeah, there's, there are your trademark KX King caps. I'm also noticing I have a few Skype messages, but I can't really look at them right now because this game sort of locks your cursor in place. Okay, time to make it to the next platform. I mean, you can kind of uh, see uh, what's going on during the cutscenes because that's when the mouse gets released, but otherwise not very much I can do. So okay, I think we're at the top of this. Time to jump down onto the big central platform. And turn this on, presumably. All functions normal. Yes. Oh. I can adjust the visor sensitivity. I didn't know that. I'm pressing those buttons now, but I'm not sure what they do. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah, that, that's there. I, I thought I already stepped on the switch. Mission progress. So I bet that did something, but I'm not quite sure what it was. Oh, I see. What's the what deal is? Now, those big blades are rotating. Luckily, though, we can easily skip down all the way to here and go back to the start which is where the exit is and hopefully not get sliced in half by one of those things let's just jump down now okay now I can check Skype while this guy is talking oh the controls are in the link for the Mega Man game well, unfortunately I didn't really do well in that regardless. We're on the sixth submission now. Oh shoot. So now there's... oh god. There's this raised terrain all around us. It moves when we move. So what we want to do is use it to our advantage to stop these natives that are lurking around in it. Oh god, here comes one. Didn't quite make it though. Oh shit, here comes another. Managed to get that guy. Oh shoot, the guy appeared right next to us. Not sure where he came from. Oh I see you fuckers approaching. Don't think I'm not going to... Okay, got another one... Got another one, I 
think. Okay, there's more right there. And there, and there. Can't quite see any... Oh, shoot, here they come. At least they move slower now. Okay. Comes another. Okay, I think they're all dead because the whole thing is receding and here comes the exit. Oh, that's nice. Don't think I'll be seeing anything like that soon though, since my dog got sterilized a week ago. And she's still kind of recovering from the whole thing, but she's doing a lot more chipper now. Uh, well, this is different. This looks like pixelated blood. More hostile activity. That doesn't sound good. So this blood leads to this guy over here. Luckily we, sti we still have our gun. See what he has to say. Oh god. What, can, what happened to you? Why does your scar keep changing places? Something hurts on his head is pulsating, and... And this giant spheres pop out of him and try to attack us. So let's go hide atop the pillar like we did last time. And now the, the little spheres with legs can't quite reach us. They're pretty creepy though. Considering. Oh god. Uh. Can't seem to shoot them very well though. Oh wait. I think they're gone now. So that was a thing. Oh boy. See, I'm kind of tempted to check what's going on, but can't really do that until this game is finished. It's only a couple more submissions to go, thankfully. Then I can join in on this. Uh. This amazing sociological study. Yeah. So this is like a precursor to a precursor to Mario Galaxy in that these things move when we move. So that's nice. You can only move through the solid ones. The other ones are not tangible. So, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. And now we've made it to the end, I think. Yeah, there we oh, well, you know, if Black Skull commentators are something are like uh, Steve and Stein, I really wouldn't take anything they say seriously because. They're not exactly known for their, their amazing rhetoric. Then again, I don't know just what they're saying, or in what tone. Oh, never mind. We're already to the final encounter in this game. The, the president is just up ahead. Well, then, at least I know this stream isn't getting uploaded to YouTube, that's for sure. Okay, so we made it to the president's lair. Sure is a big guy. And there are some buttons, so let's deliver our reports to him. 
with these buttons. We appear here, and here has two big flashing monitors in his chest. So let's press the next button and deliver our reports. Or just hear him scream. I hope the, th the next button fixes this. Nope, it only makes him <laughs> descend into the abyss. So let's get out of here before we get blamed for anything. Out of my way! Yeah, looks like we killed the president. So, mission accomplished. I guess we were the person who wanted to kill him. Ironically enough, I kind of did a creepypasta reading the first time I streamed. But you know, that was with a shitty microphone and never really made anything with it. So yeah, this game was made by Cactus, who has also made the first in this game series. Apparently there's a third one coming. Got that guy to thank for the amazing music that you heard throughout the game. Thanks to independent gaming, I have no idea who they are. Or them. Or them. Or them. That guy I know even less about. And that's the guy's website. Go we'll visit him for trippy games, I guess. And that was the game. So now I think it's time to check out what this is all about. Uh, I think it is warrants some appropriate music for what we're about to see. No, wait. That's more like it. I don't know if it's on Twitch or on livestream. I'm kind of assuming livestream, but I don't know. wonder if it will even load. Oh, it's on Twitch. Apparently, Glax. Oh no, I'm gay! Uh, OBS is having a rave party, that's great. So, it comes down to Tiss. Not entirely certain who. I will kill you! I see you haven't died. Who all the people? Well, that kind of sounds like Blacken and Stein. Gotta say, I don't really know what the deal is here. Jeff XXX dodges and uses his evil Australia XXX. And I'm being sent a video while this is going on. Critical hit. Patrick XXX uses his heal. Jeff uses his See, this isn't quite. Uh. Quite the same as a satirical reading, such as we've been seeing lately on AB streams. This is kind of just annoying. I can't see why the comments have been what they have been. Jeff is super the picture. What? 
like we've come this far, you, you, you can't expect any sort of thing to make sense at this point. By the way, there's a blank screen. That is something I'm doing on purpose. Oh, this is the Vincent's video. I think we've seen this though. Yeah. On Ambushbox stream twice, so I am not sure it's subscribed yet to see it again. That's not even a fucking game. So who's here? Not... The only thing that is truly day effect is I see. Oh, there's Steve. Load the editor faster. I need to comment. I guess that counts as entertainment. Yeah, Burn tells lies all the time. God damn it. Well, Burn is obviously lying. I mean, how would it Jeff? Oh, wait, what yeah, are Jeff they saying now? Should. Oh, I'm not even gonna just fix my spelling mistakes. Should. Okay. Have one. Sorry, half one. That sure is a rave party going on in because Black's OBS. Uh, he. Yeah. Is more. Powerful than. I'm just saying this reminds me of the Holocaust, and this is quoting that. Um, uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, well, you know, after hearing that for a few minutes, I can see why people would get <laughs> aggravated at what Stein is saying. But, eh, don't really want uh, to make a big deal out of it. So, why the fuck not? Let us. Watch this once more, if only as a palate cleanser. Think this is the right resolution. Uh, yeah, I gotta resize that as well. See, it isn't that different. We don't need Metroid, we don't need F-Zero, or Star Fox, oh, well, you know, 3DS, let's just stick with me. Like, in all seriousness, uh, Spiffy, I have done some readings of spooky, scary stories that are on my YouTube thing. But the only time I've read Creepypasta is on a... Uh, during a stream I made back in, like, April. Where I use the shitty laptop mic rather than the one I'm using right now, so... But that's also on my YouTube, it's right at the end of that stream. And it's on Twitch as well, but let's watch this now, and not talk about stuff. Mario, Yoshi, and, and Toad. Why don't we do Super Toad 67 next? Uh, I, like Toad I think it's the same as character. as my username is on here, except so without the room. extra you know, T every, at the end. Is so dense. <laughs> That's okay, Spiffy. There's so much room for character development with Toad. We'll just watch uh, it once more. The whole game would just be this. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried doing that horrible Toad voice, but I, I have not been successful. I don't know how you can get that much phlegm in your throat <laughs> or simulate it. Super Toad 67 is a real game. Which is kind of weird since I can do the Dr. Claw voice. <laughs> I can't even imagine my voice sounding like that, let alone in that high pitch. And I see Rotsuki is adding me. Yeah, okay. There you go. The exit DLC. <laughs> Didn't to pay for the exit See, this DLC. is this is the problem. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. oh. <laughs> Why is Mario t Toad? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why is he screaming now? <laughs> the curse of Toad infects everyone. This is the future of Nintendo games, guys. <laughs> It's happening with Yoshi games, it's happening with everything. Yep. There's gotta be a voice. Where's Every Toad's Island? To have a voice. I 
I like the jump sound effect. It sounds like he's puking. That's it's a feature. The fact that you can't get past the hills. I can't get the star. Oh, did he? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess he did. What? What's that? What, what does this have to so, do? So hello, with Steve. Do I have to learn about a man who can Welcome to the stream. Also, you. Yeah. More fun than your body has room for. I oh cheated boy. your game. Yay. <laughs> okay. I, I think I've had enough. Yeah, that's I think I've had enough of Super Toad 67. The legacy it. of I Toad. I can circumcise penises. <laughs> Sup new Super Paper Toad 67 oh Pro. Like how I don't even think everyone, anyone recognized that. Uh, the circumcised penises clip was from Michael Rosen. Might have been from a YouTube poop. Oh yes, Spiffy is asking me if I have creepypasta to read, but I've already read creepypasta actually. And I, I'm not sure it would be such a good idea to read it again, but I could link you to the one I already did, I guess. And as luck would have it, I am logged into YouTube right now, so I can just go to the video thing. Spot OP, please. Eh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, Soviet Steve. I'm sure you'll be able to reenact the evil regime of Stalin in your own way. But I don't think that day will be today. Instead, we're going to hunt down the f the video I did. Oh wait, did I put it afterwards or before that? Uh, it's what was after that. Okay. So here we are. See, because I had had done like three streams. And one of them is literally 23 seconds. I decided why not, I'll put this on my YouTube since... There was that scare about Twitch archives not working anymore. Oh man! I see Steve is getting... Attacked. Guess the proletariat wasn't so... Oh my goodness. Getting sent a an audio file of a super toad impression. That's great. Uh, so in this video that I uploaded like a month ago to my f YouTube thing, there's a clip right at the end of. Let me see where it starts. You will hopefully be able to distinguish between my voice now and my voice with the shitty laptop mic, which you will hear in a few seconds, presumably. Success stories, what are these? See, notice the difference. So this is called The Lost. It doesn't say who wrote it. But it was submitted very recently. And it has a 7.3 out of 10 rating. Yeah, there we are. So if you want to hear me narrate a creepypasta, go to this address and... Go to 2940, I think. For spooky spooks. Oh man. I think we all ought to correct that, because seriously, there's only one way to do this, and that way is... Okay, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not that mean. Unlike some of our other... You know... Colleagues, I suppose. I don't know how else to describe it. So there's that. And also... Well, now that that's been cleared up, I mean... 
Uh, how long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for three and a half hours. I think I can go a bit longer. So, uh, grateful, yes. That's how you spell that. God, people are <laughs> rambling on and on in Skype about stuff that I'm not particularly interested in right now, but I have to keep looking at so that the notifications disappear. What accent am I doing? Surprise, surprise, Steve, this is my natural accent. This is just how I speak when I speak English. Uh, let me see. So I guess the one other thing that I could do right now... I uh, should open up Evernote to see the list of stuff that I have. Could do that other actually kind of decent uh, RPG Maker game, or I could do. Let me see, I already did Mondo Medicals, Mondo Agency. I did Mimic Simulator. I have not done this one. I did the Castlevania Fighter thing. Uh, in the spooky game. I did Mondo Medicals. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that one next. Oh god, what did he say? Well, that's great. Oh, that's right. That thing was being sent. Is it done? Oh yeah, it is done. Let me just show that in the folder. And apparently fucking... Windows 8 wants to make it open with the uh, the Windows 8 music player, which sucks. So I'm not going to do that, instead I'm going to use this thing that doesn't suck. And see if I can listen to it. <laughs> oh god. I can circumcise penises. Well, now that we've heard it, I think I need to find the clip that... Michael Rosen says I can circumcise pieces. <laughs> Michael can yes. It even feels hidden for you. So that's a famous clip apparently. Uh is this the one I'm looking for? This might be it. I actually have no idea which one it is. But I guess we're watching this now. This old man who does oops, readings of his poetry for children. Whom he fiddle diddles. No, he doesn't. Let's see if that looks okay. Yeah, that does look kind of okay. The outing. Right, sex class. As you know, it was our plan to go out today to the Venus Museum. And perhaps you could put your cock in your ass for at least three oh seconds. Boy. Just giving us enough time to get to the door. Hmm? Right. Okay, then, sex class. We're off. Why not leave your vagina behind, Louise? <laughs> the cocks were huge, and there were hundreds and hundreds of them, and I stuck a lot. So you know. Later that day, we watched a video of Obama. Obama. Hi, Art, Hello, right here. I want to spend a couple of minutes yep, talking here he is. about sex. And while our cock has been growing, too many folks are still struggling to get hard. I wish I could tell you there was a quick fix to our dicks. Now, government is not and should not be the main engine of sperm creation in this country. That's the role of the penis. Is Steve still banned? Oh, fuck it. There's an old shit shop in Islington called Shrouch and Shesh. And I think you is a shop that sells preposterous plums. Once a pedo just in case Richard came to school and said What did he say? I can make little boys. Uh oh so he said, yeah, yeah, I bet you can't. So he said, okay, playtime. So playtime. We all went on to the playground. He said, right, who wants gay sex? So Trevor said, yeah, me. So this boy, Richard, bade Trevor lie down on the ground on his back and he took his cock out of his pocket and he started screwing Trevor on the ground and it went on for ages. We were all crowding round, dead quiet, watching Richard's on Trevor. Sus! 
Suddenly, the going in bell went. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> that, Trevor, that was kind of painful. You, you were asleep, weren't you, Trevor? Hey, were you late? And he looks at us, all fed up, and he says, only thing that happened was I got a rotten head. D I'm trying to kill the fly by squashing it with a chunk of plasticine. Not anymore. Don't. Mighty putty is way better. Fuck you, Billy. It's tea time. Sure thing. And we're thing. sitting at the table. And my dad wants milk. Here's the link milk. to this oh, channel. Uh, could you get me the milk? I get the milk. Which is apparently called again. Comrade. Then he wants butter. Six. I get the butter. And I sit down again. Oh, God. Once Fucking... you get that cock of yours stuck in a bum, you never uh... get it out again, do you? And my dad says, I can't get a moment's back around here. Oh, jeez. So I don't think that was the video with the clip we were looking for, and if it was, I may have missed it. I really don't know. Might as well do a quick search uh, to see if we can find the one that it is from. I might as well put on some music while this is going on. I might be taking links, but I don't think just yet. Right now, I'm just sort of researching this <laughs> because this can be denominated, denominated research. Ridiculous research. Okay, I think I found the real video. Might not be it, but you know, sun excess. George said. Okay, so more of this, I suppose. Uh, you know what, fuck it, let's skip right to where the thing says the quote is. Uh, I just gotta put that there. And uh, put that there so it doesn't fuck up. And put that here. Okay. Oh, shoot, no, that was the image I was putting up yesterday. I'm sure everyone remembers this great moment during uh, Mike's... what was it called? Wrestling, wrestling Revolution? Yeah. Because yesterday I think I was watching a stream where... not a stream but a video where super great friend does a let's play of that game with Bully Demise. So that came up. But anyway, I think the quote that we're looking for is at two minutes in. This so comes Sizer. Oh god. Wow, well, a rich boy came to school and said, I can suck on size penises. So he said, yeah. So <laughs> apparently, yes, that's it. A rich boy came to school and he said, I can suck on size penises. Yep, that's what he said. Wow, it's made. See, everyone's sending me links, but what I'm trying to say here is that, uh, we did take this sort of quick break to watch vulgar YouTube poops, but there is one more thing I would like to do before devolving into YouTube magic, 